Here, we are about to encounter the most ridiculous erection obelisks in the giant, I believe this is the Fuller clan if I'm not mistaken. Imperial strivings for eternal grandiosity. And it's a chipmunk. Hi, Mr. Chipmunk. And a rabbit's nearby as well. Probably an eastern cottontail. Listening to me nervously. Mr. Chipmunk is determined to continue chewing. Chipmunk. They're the best. Rabbit. And Chipmunk. Showing a flower. Thank you, folks. Now I'll continue. Human Grandiosity Study. Good morning, rabbit. Sorry to bug you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm turning soon. <laughs> Is your name Peter? Yes, this is the grandiosity of the Fullers. Could there be a Fuller grandiosity to the found? And there, through some bit of haze and lens issues, we have the city of Boston. Behold the proud tower. <laughs> and it's the giant lens. <laughs> so this is where you get to view the firmament. Robin Vespers in the tower. Yep, we have a mockingbird working on its repertoire. Trees over tower, the fuller obelisk. So now let's examine the base of the tower. I don't know if I feel like ascending it, if it's even <coughs> ascendable. It's funny. 
American feudal nostalgia. We really do, in our hearts, want to be some kind of feudal overlord with our very own collection of peasants to ravage. Huh. What is that? Wow. Get a whole wing group of something. And I would think being up on the tower, mainly gives you the advantage of a greater view of Boston. That's probably a good thing. We don't really need to know which oligarch occasion its erection. But a tribute to George Washington. Nice. I'll commence a descent in this direction wherever <laughs> no one else seems to be going. Lots of interesting sounds. The morning dove is already working it. Down this way. 